Affinity Publisher allows you to export PDFs with password protection and file encryption. I have here an Affinity Publisher document containing financial information. This document is going to be shared amongst my colleagues as well as some external customers. As this document contains sensitive information, I want to protect and limit access to the document. To do this, I'll share the document as a PDF and make use of the password protection options available on the export dialog. So I'll go to File and choose Export. This will bring up the export dialog. From the Format drop-down, I'll choose PDF and I'll select PDF Digital High Quality from the preset options. I can then scroll to the advanced options below. Within the password protection section, we can choose to assign an open password. By assigning an open password, any user who wishes to open the PDF will have to input the password to be able to interact with the document. Once authenticated, the user will then be able to open, modify and print the PDF. So let's start by creating an open password. For this video, I'm going to use something simple like password1 with a capital P. In reality, when setting a password, it's recommended to include a combination of upper and lowercase characters, numbers, and special characters. At any time, I can use the Show Password icon to reveal my password, allowing me to make sure that I haven't made any mistakes. Notice, displayed above, is the level of encryption the PDF will contain. Currently, this is set to AES128, but by adjusting the PDF compatibility settings, we can change the type of encryption. Encryption and password protection is only supported in PDF 1.6, Acrobat 7, and above. If we set the PDF to 1.6 or 1.7, the PDF will be encrypted using AES 128. If we set the document to PDF 2.0, the system will encrypt the PDF using AES 256 instead. With my open password in place and my level of encryption chosen, I can go ahead and click Export. I'll then choose a place to export the PDF to and click Save. Now if I go to my file browser and try to open the document, the document will prompt us with the open password. So I'll input the password, password1, with a capital P, and when I press Enter, the document will then open. I can now freely edit, print, or save the document. However, we can choose to limit which functions the user is permitted to carry out. For instance, with this financial document, I don't want the user to be able to copy or modify the document, but I do want them to be able to print it. So we'll close the exported PDF and go back to our original document. I'll once again go to File and choose Export. Again, under the Password Protection section, we can choose to restrict or alter the Open Password's permissions. To do this, we'll need to create a permissions password. A permissions password will allow the user to edit the document's permissions and can be often referred to as a master password. This time, I'll use Password2, again with a capital P. I want to limit editing and copying, but allow printing. So, using the options below, I'll enable Allow Document Printing. In most workflows, where you share a password-protected PDF externally, you won't need to share the permissions password. You would instead share the open password, keeping the permissions password secure and limited to a small number of people who are most likely working on the document. Now I'm happy with my settings, I'll again choose Export. We'll rename the document so we can differentiate it from our first export and then click Save. I'll navigate to my file browser and open the newly exported document. Once again, the document is asking for the open password. So I'll type out password1 and choose Enter. And the document will now open. I can then choose to print the document as allowed by my permissions. I can choose to change or edit the document's permissions at any time 
by inputting the permissions password. Also, if I were to reopen the document, and instead of inserting the open password, I instead insert the permissions password, I would be granted full access to the document. It's worth pointing out that limiting the PDF's permissions at any point will then not allow you to open the PDF inside Publisher without using the permissions or master password. For example, if I now input the open password, password1, we can see that the document won't open. Instead, if I change it to password2, the permissions password or master password, we can once again open the document. So that was how to export and open password protected PDFs whilst establishing some limitations and restrictions in Affinity Publisher. I hope you found this interesting and thank you for watching.